Hey loves, so today I'm back with a big ASOS haul. I actually have a few things from Primark and H&M that I also wanted to show you, but this is predominantly ASOS, so I'm just gonna call it an ASOS haul. Um, I have like two or three bits that aren't from there, so I thought I'd just throw them in, because I feel like you guys might like them, so yeah. Everything that I am showing you will be linked in the description. You'll find the direct links there. Um, if, I, if there's any like discounts going on on ASOS that I know about, I will put them in the description box as well. This is not sponsored at all. I purchased all of this with my own money. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy. You seem to really, really enjoy my last ASOS haul. So I thought I'd film another one for you. So the first one I have here, this is definitely out of my comfort zone. This is very different to what I usually go for, but I just saw the color of this and I just thought it looked really beautiful. Um, I feel like it's actually quite complementary to my hair and skin tone. Um, so yeah, that's why I got it. I love the sleeves on this, they are so dramatic. Um, I'm going to London this weekend and I think I'm going to wear this if it fits nicely, but I just thought the sleeves on this were so cool. Um, it's one of those dresses that are quite dressy, but I feel like you can also kind of dress it down. Like, obviously I'm going to London this weekend, I feel like I could just wear it with like a pair of sandals and it wouldn't look like I'm really OTT, but I could also kind of wear it to a wedding. It has a built-in belt, kind of give you a little bit of shape. And then it's kind of got like a drop hem type thing with like a ruffle at the bottom. This quality is absolutely beautiful. I got this in a size 8. Um, I'm kind of in between a 6 and 8 at the minute, so I'm kind of struggling to find what works best for me. But I thought this could be fine as, um, as an 8 because it's got the belt. But I just absolutely love this. I think it's so beautiful. I can't wait to try it on. I really, really hope it looks nice because the print of it, it's so different to anything I've got. Um, like it's completely different. I don't have anything like this. I just think it looks really, really pretty um, and very kind of on trend for right now with the sleeves and the color of it and everything. I feel like it's really, really beautiful. Um, so yeah, I hope this looks nice. The next dress I got is this really nice khaki dress. I've had my eye on this for quite a while now. Again, this is ASOS own brand. I love the color of it. I feel like it's quite simple and neutral and then it just has these big long thingies that you like wrap around the front to create some shape and texture and stuff like that and then you obviously just tie them into a bow so I can't wait to try this on I feel like it's quite hard to know what it's going to look like because literally it's just like a dress with things hanging off it um the quality is really nice as always ASOS quality is just like they've just done it like ASOS is probably my favorite place to shop right now I went through a phase of not liking to shop online because I like to try things on but because of how easy the returns are with ASOS, I just can order like three sizes if I want to and see if they fit or if it doesn't fit, I can just exchange it. So it's just so easy and so simple. And it's just beautiful, I really love this dress. <laughs> Can't wait to try it on. I think it'll look nice with like some um, like brown wedge sandals that I've got. I think it'll look really nice like that. So fingers crossed this looks nice on because uh, I do really like this. I've had my eye on it for ages. <laughs> The next dress I have is from QED London. I feel like I've had stuff from here before. Um, this is kind of similar to the red one, but it's a very different material. The red one is made out of a very thick material. It feels very, very expensive. Um, it feels like you paid a lot of money for it. Um, this is a much thinner material. It still feels really, really nice, but you can definitely tell that. I think you can tell the difference by me just holding it. You see how this really holds its shape and this just kind of falls. Um, very, very different in that sense, but the print is very similar. It's a very similar style with the drop hem and the puff sleeves. Um, and then it's got this triangle open back. Um, I did really like this in black because obviously they're very similar dresses, but I thought with this one, because it's um, a more drapey material, it can easily look a lot more casual. Um, so I thought in the winter time as well, I could wear this with tights and boots. Even though it's got an open back, I feel like if I put like black tights on and black knee high boots, I could still wear this in the winter. So I feel like it could be like a year long piece, which I really like because I like to kind of get my money's worth out of things. Um, you guys know how I feel about fast fashion. And I always try to find things that will um, be a little bit timeless. Like I feel like you could have worn this in like the 70s, 80s, not the 90s so much. And now I feel like it's a piece that I can keep forever. Going into my 30s, it won't look silly on someone in their 30s. I, I always think like, can I wear this? You know, I always think to myself, will I be able to wear this as I get older? Um, because I feel like at the age I am now, I feel like it's quite easy to find things that are appropriate for someone in their 20s and then you think, Actually, if I was in my 30s, I couldn't be wearing that. So I do try to think forward so I'm not, you know, contributing to it as much. Obviously, I still am, but, you know, trying to do what I can. But yeah, this dress I just think is really, really lovely. I love the shape of it. I really hope it fits nicely. I'm in a really dodgy, like, size at the minute. I'm, like, in between a 6 and 8. I find it really hard to find things that I'm liking, but 
this dress is just absolutely stunning i love it this dress i got in two sizes because i wanted it for this weekend because i'm going to london this weekend so i got this in a six and an eight this is the eight and it is from river island i just thought this was really really beautiful i don't have any like um evening dresses i suppose i don't have any dresses that i could wear of an evening time to a bar or a club not that i go to clubs um but anything where you'd have to dress up slightly more and because i'm going to london we're staying in like a really nice hotel so i just wanted you know if we go to dinner or something i don't know i just wanted something that's a little bit tighter a little bit more nighttime appropriate so i grabbed this dress i think it's really really pretty it's got a little slit down the back um, and then it's got shoulder pads. I love shoulder pads. I just love a good shoulder pad. I love the print on this I feel like it's quite busy, but it's so um, Muted because the colors are kind of faded. They're like very soft pinks blues greens Purples yellows. They're very very muted. So I feel like it still looks very classy and simple and understated So I got this in a six and an eight um, I will write on screen which one fit me best for you guys to just have a little bit of reference it's got a little bit of ruching detail on the bum which always makes your bum look a little bit bigger for those of us who are not blessed with a big bum so yeah i feel like it's gonna look very flattering on i'm really excited to try it on and see what it looks like um and i'm really excited about this one because i don't have any dresses that are more evening appropriate i've just realized that i've forgotten a dress so i'm just gonna go grab it back in a sec got it okay so this is the uh, last dress I have to show you. This one I absolutely love. I've tried it on already. It is from, is it called? Oh yeah, Love Triangle. Um, I got a dress from here in my last day's of school and it's beautiful so I thought I'd get this one. Um, the colours of it are absolutely stunning. It looks like a painting. It reminds me of Julie Andrews. But my only issue with this is I got it in a six. It fits me around the, ra around the waist absolutely perfectly like it literally fits so nicely it makes my shape look really nice because i'm in between sizes if i get an eight for like my hip area it ends up being loose around the waist and then being less flattering so i'm having the opposite problem with this because this is a six it fits around my waist beautifully and then it's got this band around the hip area and this doesn't really have any stretch you can kind of see it doesn't really have any stretch to it so it's kind of sucking my hips in a little bit and making me look a bit of an odd shape um but i do really love this dress and i do really want to keep it but I, it's out of stock in a size eight at least it was the last time i checked so i'm just a little bit unsure on what to do but leave a comment below telling me what you think um if you think it looks nice or if you think it does pull my hips in too much and make me look like a funny shape please be honest because i don't like keeping things that i'm not gonna wear i just don't feel like it's useful productive and it's just a waste of money i used to do it all the time and now i'm really strict with myself um yeah i've left the tags and i've had it for about a week um and i've not worn it yet so let me know what you think because i'm really really unsure about this one because i love it but it's just the hip area that's bothering me a little bit i also got this little top from asos i got this in a size six i feel like it was just the uh best size to i feel like it's just the best size to get because obviously it's like a tight little top i loved the tiny barely there straps and i love the wrap around front i think it just looks absolutely stunning um the thing with this it's got like a tight ring around the bottom which i don't really know what they were doing with that um i feel like it would have been much better if the top just carried on with this material um but it is really nice to wear with skirts jeans shorts i feel like it's quite um quite simple but it's also got like a little bit of like a sexy vibe to it if you like pop on some shorts with it tuck it into the shorts i feel like it could be a really cute sexy summer outfit like maybe this with like um blue denim shorts this top and maybe like a blazer or something like that to kind of cover your shoulders um when it gets colder i feel like it could be quite a nice cute outfit but i do really love this top and i love the um wrap front details that are on a lot of tops right now i think they're very very flattering especially for those of us with smaller boobs i'm a 30d and everyone's like you're not a day but like a 30d is like small so yeah not blessed i mean they're fine for my size but like probably gonna get a boob job don't know so the last thing i got from asos oh my god I love this. Okay, so this is from Flounce Club. I feel like it was Flounce Club London, but maybe I've just made that up. It just says Flounce Club on the tag. This bodysuit is absolutely stunning. Okay, so it's got these little tiny, tiny straps. I love the tiny straps. I think they're so feminine and flattering. I think they just look beautiful with like, especially with like necklaces and stuff with like the tiny, tiny straps and then like layered necklaces. Oh, oh so 
so nice and then it has these beautiful little sleeves that just like drape down over your shoulders and the front of it just reminds me of like Cinderella or Belle it's just got that like princess vibe to it you know on their dresses and they're all like draped like you so don't mean I want to do that looks like a little princess dress oh my god it looks beautiful um i got this in a size eight um could have done with it in a size six for the tightness but because i'm tall i got it in an eight um i didn't want the body to be too short and it's not it's not one of those ones that goes straight into your vagina and you feel like you're gonna get ripped in half um it's not one of those it's good it's fine it doesn't do that it fits really nicely um you definitely don't need to wear a bra with this because it's uh, got like a little piece of material around the top that just holds it up it doesn't fall down at all and obviously it's got the strap so you don't need to worry about it i feel like you could easily wear this um strapless because it does stay up really really nicely um yeah i really love this and then i also got these jeans from h&m um so these are like high-waisted straight leg jeans which are two things that i usually hate um so i hate high-waisted jeans i feel like they make your bum look 20 miles long and um i don't like straight leg jeans but i've been seeing so many people on instagram wearing straight leg jeans and looking absolutely gorgeous so i just had to I just had to try it myself. Um, so I got these and I really struggled to find a top to go with them but I finally cracked it. You guys will be seeing it on the try on right now. They're really nice. I really love them. They're so comfortable. Um, I don't feel like I'm pulling them up. I don't feel like I'm having to tuck my pockets in because I wear low waisted jeans and the pockets always come out um, and they just they're very comfortable. Like they're not like restricting. I used to get pain in my stomach when I wore high waisted jeans like a lot um because obviously when you sit down your stomach like gets bigger and then the jeans are tighter um but with these i definitely don't get that at all i don't know if i've lost weight or what the what the thing is but these are absolutely lovely i got them in a size eight obviously h&m sizing is always all over the place but for me these are true to size um obviously like i've been in h&m and i've had to put on like size 14 jeans because um their sizing is just so off so honestly don't worry about it. I know so many people get upset and affected by things like that, but H&M is just completely off. So if you have to go up like three sizes, I mean, I'm like a six to eight and I had to go to a 14, so that's eight, 10, 12, four. I had to go up three sizes. So don't even worry about it. It's just, it's just different manufacturers. Sizes mean nothing anyway. Um, but these fit quite true to size, I find. I could have potentially sized down um, because they are slightly loose around the waist, but I like the fact that they're comfortable when I sit down and like, you know, I feel like I can move a lot more in these and if I want to eat and if I'm bloated that day it just gives me a little bit more room to expand. <laughs> now the top I was telling you about is this one and this is from Primark. I've got a little mark on it, sorry about that. Um, I absolutely adore this, I think it is so nice. I love the colour of it, that like dusty sage, this is similar to the uh, colour that the H&M dress is I'm pretty sure. Um, it's just got like a little crinkle material. I got this in a six because it's quite um, oversized. And I wanted it to be a little bit more form fitting. I just thought this was lovely to go with the jeans. I feel like the white and the green just go really, really nicely together. I just tuck it in. It's got a little pocket. Um, I didn't want the jeans to look um, childish because I feel like straight leg jeans and mom jeans can easily look very teenage. Um, and you guys know that's not ever what I'm after. I like to dress quite classy um, and mature and definitely not like that and like a crop band tee or something. That's not me. So I was just looking for something that would kind of age the jeans slightly if that makes sense. And this definitely works because it's just got a more structured vibe, a more mature vibe. Um, and I just love this shirt. It's really easy to throw on. I've worn it so many times since getting it, hence why I've got a mark on it needs to be washed. Actually, I think I've got it Oh, You can kind of see it there. I tried to wipe it off, but it doesn't need to go in the washer. Um, but yeah, I just think it's really, really nice. I feel like it looks beautiful. The quality is really nice for Primark as well. And it was really cheap, like £9 or something crazy like that. I also got some jewellery from Primark as well. So I got this little um, earring set that I thought was really, really pretty. I've taken some out that are in my ears right now. Um that are these they're really really nice really nice like they look like they've kind of got two if that makes sense you know it like drops down into a little hoop I thought they were really pretty that pack was three pounds and then i got these which chuck actually pointed out for me and i'm so glad i bought them because they were beautiful um they just look like these i'm trying to organize them for you so they're just little multicolored little like droplets i just thought they were really really pretty um i actually want to get my i want to get like three down here I think and then either one or two up there 
probably two i'd imagine probably one there and one there um and i want to get that on both ears because i love the look of like multiple earrings like i feel like the green ones i don't know i feel like that could look really pretty with like what i have in right now so i feel like yeah i just want like multiple earring holes and they were two pound as well they're also killing it with pajamas right now so these are the ones that i got these are the pajamas that I got, just a little polka dot set. Um, I don't really like the fact that there's a drawstring on them. I wish that wasn't there. there are, that makes it a little bit ugly. I wish it was just elasticated. I, don't, I just don't know what the point is. And it's got these little pockets as well, which I just think is so handy for when you're like smuggling biscuits up to bed. Not that I ever do that. But I just thought these were really nice, really comfy, very lightweight, really, really breathable. Um, and then it just has a little um, shirt to go with as well. I feel like they just look quite classy. Um, but they look a lot more expensive than they actually are and I just love the fabric of them they're very very soft it's like a really soft um cotton really comfy um so yeah loving those really really nice I think they were about 12 pounds I'm pretty sure so I love that as a set and I've been wearing them every night since I got them and then the last thing I have to show you is from I forgot the name of it blue vanilla um and it is just this really pretty blue polka dot i know i know i have everything in blue polka i need to stop now to be honest i do actually need to stop um because i've got too much of it but i do have a polka dot skirt <laughs> so that's what i was missing um so i've got this really pretty blue polka dot wrap around silk skirt i just thought it looked beautiful i got this from depop really really nice um, and I wanted to wear it with that like princess thingy. I feel like it's gonna look so so pretty. Um, and I'm really really excited to wear it. I love polka dots, you guys know. My little open toe white boots. Oh, they're gonna be so nice. So I love this. It feels really nice quality as well. So yeah, I feel like you can't go wrong with a skirt like that. Just a silky wraparound skirt. I feel like it can go with so much. And that is the last thing I got. So that is everything I got my little haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, if you do like anything, it will be linked in the description um, as long as I can find it. Obviously, you can't tag Primark things. I don't think they've got a website. So yeah, that is everything I got. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Please let me know which dresses you liked and which ones you would personally keep um and let me know what you think about that floral dress whether you think it makes me look really narrow around the hips because i just cannot decide um so yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video thank you so much for watching and i will see you soon with a new one bye